It's Adrian over BHA here bringing you another video. Here's another video to add to our product review series. Uh, so as you probably already know, if you've seen any of the other ones, uh, Zimmy Smart has sent me several different devices uh, to review on the channel here and kind of uh, show you guys uh, how well they integrate uh, with your smart home. This one in particular is a Zigbee downlight. So of course it will require a Zigbee hub of some sort, uh, something like SmartThings, uh, Philips Hue, or uh, you know, a, a USB Zigbee uh, stick. But uh, it's uh, pretty cool. This is a smaller one. Uh, so this is like a, a four inch, I think, or three and a half inch. Um, so not quite as common, at least in my house. Most of the uh, downlights I have in, in my house are all uh, are the larger, like six inch. But it should work about the same. Uh, it's a RGBW, so of course it'll change colors and do everything uh, just as we need it to. Uh, still looks pretty cool, so let's give it a shot. I haven't seen the four inch or, uh, or the smaller size like this one available on Amazon, but the, of course they do have it uh, from Zimmy Smart's website as you saw earlier. And of course here is also uh, Ally Express's website. So it looks pretty, uh, looks pretty cool. Price isn't too bad, so uh, definitely worth giving it a shot. Let's do a quick run through of everything we're gonna cover in this video. So of course we'll start uh, by unboxing the, the downlight. Uh, once we do that, I, uh, I am going to wire it up. Once you have it uh, wired up and turned on, we will add it into SmartThings because that's what I use for my uh, Zigbee hub. After that, of course, we're going to add it into Home Assistant as well because uh, I certainly love Home Assistant for all of my home automation. And lastly, of course, we'll just kind of play around with it in action. So let's get started. All right, so as you can see here, it doesn't come in a very big box. It's pretty small. This is a 12 watt uh, Zigbee 3.0 downlight. And of course this will be hardwired in. So whatever line is ran for the light, uh, for electricity, you'll, you'll basically just hardwire it in. In the package, you get the light and of course uh, instructions on how to configure it for uh, whatever type of home hub you have. Other than that, we're ready to go. All right, so I haven't decided in my home where I want to install this yet. <clears throat> for the sake of this video and for showing you guys how well it works, I'm just going to wire it up to a uh, plug here uh, and just plug it into a power strip. That way we can uh, get it added into smart things and test it out and show you uh, how well it works. All right. So as you can see here, I've got it connected in uh, to the little plug here and plugged into a power strip. We're going to go ahead and power this thing on and it is ridiculously bright. Um, and of course, by default, I, I haven't configured it for anything yet, and there's no on-off switch on the Zigbee uh, setup here, so there's no way to uh, manually turn it on and off, at least not where I can see. So we definitely need to get this thing added into uh, smart things or something so that we can turn this thing down a little bit. All right, so we are uh, here in the SmartThings app on my phone. I'm gonna hit the plus symbol at the top, have it go searching for uh, a new device. And as you can see, it came in uh, by default, it's just called Thing. I don't think it fully recognizes it yet, so that's okay. we're gonna go ahead and change the name. I'm just gonna call it Test Downlight. And of course we'll hit save on that.
All right, so at this point, it says, please wait. So it's not fully in SmartThings yet, because at this point, we need to jump over to the SmartThings API on the website and uh, do some modifications there for this to work properly. So here on the uh, SmartThings uh, IDE, we're gonna get logged in. And then here, as you can see, there's the test down light. Uh, currently the type is thing. So we're gonna click on that one. We're gonna choose edit down here at the bottom. And then where it says type, we're gonna change that. So we're looking for a Zigbee RGBW bulb. And there it is. So once we get that one selected, we'll go ahead and update. And now we should be able to jump back over to the app on the phone and have the ability to control it. So let's see here. As you can see, it still shows to be on. And of course, if we uh, click on that, uh, of course, you have your ability to change your colors and all that kind of stuff from the SmartThings app. So I think we are good to go. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. We're gonna get this thing added into Home Assistant. Uh, so basically in order to do that, especially since we're using the new SmartThings uh, integration in Home Assistant, uh, we don't really have to do a whole lot. In fact, I'm really just gonna restart Home Assistant so I know that that integration picks up the new bulb. Um, so select has here in poor container and then we'll do a restart on that container and give that a second uh, to reboot and come back up uh, once it does we're going to jump over to home assistant here and we're going to select configuration and then integrations and of course at the top uh, there's smart things it looks like that bulb's already down there at the bottom so it should already be in there We'll scroll down to all of our SmartThings devices. There's the test down light. And turn it on. And then it should give us some uh, control there. As you can see, there's the color temperature and brightness and all the different colors. Everything looks good. Let's jump over to that last step. All right, so uh, just as a, uh, a last, I just wanna kind of show you what that looks like in action and how well and responsive it is, even using Home Assistant with the SmartThings uh, component or integration. So here we have the light, it's currently turned on. And let's play around with the colors. There's blue, and you can see it's uh, pretty responsive. So that's pretty cool. There's pink, there's red, there is green, and there, of course, that's blue that we already found earlier, so that's it, guys. Pretty awesome little light. Like I said, very bright for the size, uh, pretty impressive, to be honest with you. Uh, so if you have a spot to put some four-inch lights, you know, if you don't already, uh, you know, if you have some installed or even if you are looking to uh, install a different kind of light, these little four inch down lights are pretty cool. And obviously they're RGBW, so you can change them to whatever color you want and using automations and stuff and Home Assistant. So that's pretty cool. Definitely worth checking out for the price. Uh, so let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course, for starters, we unboxed the down light. Uh, once we did that, uh, of course, I uh, wired it up just to uh, get it on and show you what it looks like. Uh, once it was ready to go, we added it into SmartThings. And once that was done, then we were ready to add it into Home Assistant. And then, of course, lastly, I just showed you what it kind of looked like in action.
again, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, I hope you liked the video. I hope you check out uh, Zimmy Smart's products. They have tons of smart devices. They're getting more and more on Amazon. And it looks like, uh, of course, they're constantly adding new uh, stuff to the Zimmy Smart site as well. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.